Welcome back everyone to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be talking about numeric data types. Now I know we've talked about numeric data types a little bit. In fact, I know I've already taught you about int and also double. The other one that I wanted to talk about is float. If you haven't heard of float, it's very similar to double with just a little bit of a difference. There are some other numeric data types, but they're basically just variations on these three data types. So it's very important you get these three down and then you can kind of just modify them a little bit to figure out all the other data types. The very first one, int, it stands for integer. And an integer is a whole number. So for example, seven, oh, seven, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are all whole numbers. Even like negative numbers, negative four, negative three, zero, all of those. Now the next two, these you could classify as floating point numbers. It seems kind of odd because you see it has this word float in it and it makes you think it only applies to the float data type. But actually both the double and the float data types are considered floating point. Essentially what a floating point number is, is anything with a fractional part. So for example, 5.4, 6.8, 3.0. So this video is going to try to familiarize you with all three of these and also talk about some tricks and tips and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a file. We'll just create a new one. We'll name it numeric data types dot C. So we're in our file and the three data types again, just so you have them here for reference, are int, double, and float. So let's say you wanted to store in a variable the number of dogs you own. Which data type are you going to want to use? Well, you're probably going to want to use int. That's because I highly doubt you have a fractional part of a dog as a pet. If so, that's, that's just messed up. So <laughs> you could do something like this int dogs equals six. So that one's pretty easy. Whenever you want to have whole numbers or things that can't be divided, you will want to use an int. But when do you use double or float? They're pretty similar, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference. Well, if you're not sure, err on the side of using double. Double is considered the more standard, more accepted, better data type of the two. Now there are certain situations when to use float. I think it would be more clear if I actually explained the difference. Let's make a section for floating point. The difference has to do with precision. Think of precision as how much data the thing can hold. So if you have a value 99999.9999999, this thing is super precise. Then again, if you have a value like four, I mean, that's, that's not precise at all. It's just, it's just four. <laughs> so the difference between the two is that double has double the precision. That means if you need to store a lot of information, you're probably going to want to use the double data type. Let's clear this junk out and then I will go through an example showing you the difference very clearly. Let's say we want to print some values. We need to know the conversion characters for all of these data types. Well, the first is percent %i for an integer and we want these in a string. And then the second is a percent %f for floating point values. There's a little tip here. I'm gonna talk about this more later, but if you pass in a float to this, it becomes double. The function will actually convert the float value to a double. That is another example of why we want to use doubles more often is because they are more standard. There is a time when you would want to use a float though, and that is if you're very, very, very low on memory. That's because doubles take up twice as much space. So if you're on a very, very small device with very limited memory, you might want to use floats. But for basically every other computer application, you're going to want to use doubles. The fact that this becomes a double also shows us why there's only one conversion character. No matter whether we pass in a float or a double, it's going to be outputted exactly the same. So we only need percent %f. We don't need percent %f for doubles and then percent %f for floats. It's just the same. So let's get rid of some of these comments, and now I'm going to show you where floating point values have their weaknesses. So let's put a comma here, and let's pass in some values. I'm actually going to pass in a float and a double, so let's add another percent %f and a new line. We'll pass in 1, 1.1111, 1, and then we'll pass in 1.1111 with a capital F. 
which is to say, hey, this is specifically a float. Let's save this and run it and see the output. All right, you can see that the output for the integer is what we expected one, and the float and the double output exactly the same. In this situation, whether you use float or double doesn't really matter. The output is exactly the same. But there are times when there are differences. For example, let's go back into our code and let's change the numbers we're printing out. Let's change this to 1111.1111. Oh, now you see some differences here. The integers, just like we expected, the double is what we wanted, but the flow is not what we wanted. This problem has to do with how numbers are stored on computers. They are stored in base two. Essentially, they are stored in binary. And in binary, certain numbers cannot be represented exactly. This problem of being in base two with the combination of using a float variable gives us a number that is not exactly what we were hoping for. If we kept adding data to our numbers, eventually the double variable is going to mess up too. So the moral of the story is that you can't trust floating point numbers for everything. Integers are a little bit more trustworthy. If you put in one, you should expect one to come out. That's all I got to say in this video, guys. And as always, my last minute words on whether to use float or double is if you're unsure, prepare for trouble, make it double. And that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video.